Hello students, welcome to e Padashala. I am Dr. P. Shanti, Associate Professor, Department of Commerce, Avinashalingam Institute for Home Science and Higher Education for Women, Coimbatore. In today's class, the module selected is Retail Marketing. India has occupied a remarkable position in global retail ranking. The country has high market potential, low economic risk and moderate political risk. India's net retail sales are quite significant among emerging and developed nations. Among emerging nations, the country is ranked third after China and Brazil. The compounded annual growth rate in this sector have achieved the double digit figure and also its contribution to GDP is also at a double digit. With the buoyant growth of retail sector, there is a witness of transformation in retail formats. The big corporate houses have entered into this sector and the inflow of foreign investment is also found significant. So at this juncture, it is very important to understand the basic idea of retail marketing. Retail marketing is the process by which retailers promote awareness and interest of their goods and services in an effort to generate sales from their customers. Retail is the sale of goods and services from a business to end user otherwise called customer. The sale of goods to the public is relatively in small quantities for use and consumption rather than for resale. The retailing is the last link in the chain of distribution. Any organization selling to final consumer, whether it is a manufacturer, wholesaler or retailer is doing a retailing. The American Marketing Association defines retailing as the activities involved in selling directly to the ultimate consumer for personal and non-personal use. It embraces direct to customer sales activities of the producer whether through his own store or by house to house canvassing or by mail order business. The retailer is an intermediary in marketing channel and he is a specialist who maintains contact with consumer and the producer and is an important connecting link in the mechanism of marketing. The word retailer has been derived from the French word retailer which means to cut again. It means to cut in small portion from large lump of goods. A retailer is the last middleman in the chain of distribution of goods to consumer. Characteristics of retailers. A retailer is a link between wholesaler and the ultimate consumer and he is the last intermediary in distribution. A retailer buys goods from wholesaler in bulk and resells them to consumer in small quantity. A retailer maintains personal contact with his customers. A retailer makes sufficient shop display of his wares to attract customers. Retailers perform all the functions which a wholesaler performs and in addition emphasis on advertisement. Let us look into the functions of retailer. Every retailer performs the important functions such as buying. A retailer deals in a variety of merchandise and so he buys, collects large number of goods of his stocks from variety of wholesalers. He brings all the goods marketing risks under one roof and then displays them in shop. Thus he performs the twin function of buying and assembling of goods. The next function is storage. After assembling the goods, the retailer stores them in his godown so that they are held as reserve stocks for the future. Storage of goods in a ready stock is also necessary. Selling The ultimate aim of every retailer is to sell goods he buys. So, he employs efficient method of selling to dispose of products at a faster rate so that he can increase his turnover in a period of time. Risk bearing 
the retailers bears the risk of physical damage of goods and also that of price fluctuations moreover risk of fire theft deterioration and spoilage of goods has also to be borne by him changes in fashion taste and demand of his customers also have an adverse effect on his sales nevertheless a retailer does not lose heart he bears all these trade risks which come in his way during the normal course of business packing a retailer packs his goods in small packets and containers for his customers occasionally he may be required to grade them also creating place utility retailer create place utility by transporting goods to the point of consumption stocking variety of goods Retailer buys variety of goods from various manufacturers and wholesalers thus a retailer provides a wide range of choice enabling the consumer to select the products of their choice credit facilities to customers retailers grant credit facilities to consumers and thus increase their short term purchasing power providing information to customers and wholesaler Retailer acts as a link between the buyer and the wholesaler or manufacturers. In the distribution channel, retailer are in direct contact with customers. Retailers supply market information to manufacturers either directly or through wholesalers, estimating the demand and arranging the purchase of the product. retailer create demand for product by communicating with their customers this demand creation is quite helpful for manufacturers and wholesalers acting as consumers agent the retailer anticipate the wants of the consumer and then supply them the right kind of goods at a reasonable price their job is to make the consumers buying as easy and convenient as possible marketing function Retailer performs several marketing functions such as sales promotion, advertising, point of purchase display. They induce cons- customers to buy products of reputed companies. Connecting link. The retailers are connecting link between wholesaler and the ultimate consumer. Let's move on to prerequisites of retail trade. The success of retail trade is based on proper combination of the following factors. The first one, location. The ultimate success of a retailer depends on the location of the shop. Proper selection of location is important for a retailer to establish his business. The next, price. A proper pricing policy can give better results for a retailer if he can combine low prices with a good quality to attract consumers. Next, sales promotion. A retailer must arrange for proper sales promotion campaigns in order to familiarize the customers of that area with his product. Prudent buying principles. Every retailer ought to be a shrewd purchaser. only then he can give the best to his customers careful buying earns rich dividend in retail trade knowledge of merchandise modern business is so complex and the variety and quality of goods being so diverse a retailer must have adequate and latest knowledge of the wares he sells it would not only enable him to answer customer queries satisfactorily but also to handle the complications of his business thus adequate knowledge of merchandise is another prerequisite feature of a retail trade services a retailer should concentrate on services courteous and prompt service on will help in attracting more and more customers and thereby flourish in business most retailers go in for after sale service also where they cater to the needs of the customer after the latter has purchased a commodity from them so efficient service should be the motto of every retailer next efficient management better planning organization and control by a retailer can offer efficient retail operations a retailer should have a proper and adequate workforce to assist him in his business 
he should always keep stocks ready for customers and even offer specialized comments on the products he deals in. If a retailer plans his inventories and works in work in advance, there is no doubt that he will achieve his targets and also attract more customers. Display of goods. Since a retailer deals in a variety of products, he must display goods in a proper and orderly manner. This will enable him to get what is required by the customer quickly and also help in attracting customers. The retailers must go in for tastefully decorated interiors and also have a proper and attractive window dressing and display. The goods must be neatly and orderly stocked and the pattern of window display should be frequently changed for the better so as to attract customers eyes. A retailer must not forget that well laid out window display will help him to entice and attract customers from his rivals and competitors. Hence a proper care and attention ought to be given for display of goods out as well as in the retailer shop and showroom. Types of retailers. Retailers are mainly classified into itinerant retailers and fixed retailers. Itinerant retailers include hawkers and peddlers. A hawker is an individual who sells wares by carrying them through the streets. A person's ordinary method of attracting attention includes addressing the public using placards, labels and signs or displaying merchandise in a public place. A peddler is defined as a retailer who brings goods from place to place and exhibit them for sale. Cheap Jacks One who sells cheap and second rate goods. Market Traders A person who sells goods from a stall in a market. Street Traders A person who sells something in the street either from a stall or a van or with their goods laid out on the pavement. Fixed retailers are classified into small scale and large scale retailers. Fixed shop retailers, street stall holders. A market stall is a typically immobile temporary structure erected by merchants to display and shelter their merchandise in a street or other setting. Stalls are used throughout the world by vendors selling street food. Second hand goods dealers. There are various types of second hand shops generally specializing in a particular type of merchandise. The consumer has both a preference for a particular store and a specific brand specializing in specific industries or products. This type of retailers is able to offer customer expert knowledge and a high level of service. They also add value by offering accessories and additional related products at the same outlet. General shop. A general store is a rural or a small town store that carries general line of merchandise. Small scale retailers, independent stores. An independent retailer is someone who is completely responsible for his or her own business. The retailer owns or has bought an independent store and has built the business from the ground up by assessing all needs of the store which can include staffing, marketing, merchandising, sales, etc. Automatic Vending Automatic Merchandising It is a way of selling merchandise through using vending machines. This is also referred as automatic selling. Vending machine is useful in dispensing items like snacks, consumer products, beverages, etc. after a currency is inserted by the customer and is credited into the machine. Discount Houses this type of retailer offers a variety of discounted products. They offer low prices on less fashionable branded product from a range of supplies by reselling end of line and returned goods at discounted prices. Syndicate stores. A syndicate is a self-organizing group of individuals, companies, corporations and entities formed. In such cases, they share a certain type of market like brand management or search engine optimization and usually form a conglomerate. Large scale retailers, departmental stores, 
A department store is a retail establishment offering a wide range of consumer goods in different product categories known as department. This type of retailer is often the most complex offering a wide range of product and can appear as a collection of small retail stores managed by one company. The department store retailers offer products at various pricing levels. This type of retailers add high level of customer service by adding convenience, enabling a large variety of products to be purchased from one retailer. Multiple shops A retail shop that has multiple locations but has common ownership and management, this is often called a retail chain. Mail order shops Mail order is the buying of goods and service by mail delivery. The buyer places an order for the desired product with a merchant through some remote method such as through a telephone call or website. Catalogers buy or manufacture goods then market those to the prospects. Higher purchase and installment A higher purchase is a method of buying goods through making installment payments over time. Under higher purchase contract, the buyer is leasing the goods and does not obtain ownership until the full amount of contract is paid. Cooperative stores A retail store owned and managed by consumer and customers who supply the capital and share in the profit by patronage dividend. A store operated by a former cooperative organization or by a cooperative chain. Supermarkets a self-service retail market selling especially foods and household merchandise, something resembling a supermarket especially in the variety or volume of its goods or service. Generally, this type of retailer concentrates in supplying a range of food and beverage products. However, many have now diversified and supply products from the home, fashion and electrical products markets too. Supermarkets have significant buying power and therefore often retail goods at lower prices. Hypermarket A hypermarket is a super store combining a supermarket and a departmental store. The result is an expansive retail facility carrying wide range of products under one roof including full grocery lines and general merchandise. E-tailers this type of retailers enable customers to shop online via internet and buy products which are then delivered. This type of retailer is highly convenient and is able to supply a wider geographic customer base. E-tailers often have lower rent and overhead so offer very competitive pricing. This flowchart shows an organized retail format. Services to consumers First one ready or quick supply the most important service of a retailer to consumer is to maintain regular availability of variety products so that buyers can buy the products whenever they need wide variety retailers generally keep stock of variety of products and different manufacturers this enable the consumer to make their choice out of wide selection of goods guiding customers by arranging the effective display of products and through their personal selling efforts, retailers should provide the information of products to the customers. Demonstration and after sale services It can be done in the form of home delivery, supply of spare parts and attending to customers. Home delivery It is important part of after sale service and for a buyer's decisions for repeat purchase of the product. Convenient location They are situated very near to the residential areas and remain open for long hours which makes great convenience to the customer. Let's move on to services to wholesalers and manufacturers. First one, ready market. Retailers deal with individuals so the manufacturers and wholesalers will not make individual sales. Next, providing information. By undertaking personal selling efforts, retailers relieve the producer of this activity of individual selling. Third one, risk bearing. 
retailers participate in the promotional activities of the product so that the product becomes popular and then it is less risk for the manufacturers distribution of goods to distant places retailers help in distribution of goods to the final consumer and thus provide place utility failure of retail business a retail trade may fail owing to the following reasons limited financial resources lack of experience in the line faulty credit policy of retailer change of customers outlook natural calamities personal factors poor location of shop poor advertising and window display impolite and discourageous behavior of retailer poor service of retailer stiff competition from rivals in the same trade poor or lack of foresight of the retailer which leads to faulty planning organization and control of business financial crunch that is limited capital resources of the retailer unplanned spending by the retailer for personal needs let me summarize by saying retailing in india is one of the pillars of its economy evolving growth in retail sector witnessed with the emergence of retail formats both organized and unorganized retailing is found in india competition and investment in retail will provide more benefits to consumers through quality goods lower prices wider availability and significant improvement in supply chain logistics retailing has mirrored the increasing prominence of the retail industry retailing provides a positive contribution to the economy it reshapes the lifestyle of the people retailing itself has emerged as the academic course and has have the scope for expanding internationally thank you